I've got an ulcer at the moment and it's so sore. Look. Hey guys, how are you doing? As you may know, I recently bought a house, which is very exciting. And I'm hoping that in the next month or two, I'm gonna be able to move into that place. So recently I've been buying a lot of home stuff, whether that's mind blank, kitchenware, bed linen. Why can't I just, uh... Yeah, like kitchenware, bed linen, furniture, all of that kind of stuff. So I decided to take a trip to Vista Village to buy, well I ended up mainly buying kitchenware to be honest, but I just went there with my new house in mind. If you don't know, Vista Village is a outlet shopping centre here in the UK and they have a lot of really nice brands, but for a, pra a fraction of the price. Good, a fraction of the price. And the plane's going over right on cue. This is perfect start to the video, especially when I'm in a rush. As usual, I haven't left myself quite enough time to film this haul. But I'm gonna whiz through it, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna show you everything, and then when I come to edit, I'm gonna research the exact names of all of the stuff, and the recommended retail price versus what I bought it for in Vista Village. So let's get started, shall we? The first shop that I stopped at was Le Creuset. I'm sure you've heard of it. It's a really, really nice kitchenware company. And first thing I wanted to get sorted was my pots and pans. So, excuse me while I just unbox everything. Everything's all nicely boxed and packaged. And I'm just gonna rip it all out. Anyway, frying pans. I decided to get a 26 inch and a 22 inch frying pan. I thought that the 22 inch is quite a good, I've been saying inch, centimeter. 26 centimeter and 22 centimeter frying pans. I thought the 22 centimeter is quite a good size for like an omelet or little pancakes, that sort of thing. Whereas the 26 is a bit bigger. <laughs> Good. I was gonna say for like stir fries and things like that, but I've just realized that I've got a massive wok coming up, so that's gonna be better for stir fries. In fact, let me show you that now. So here is my 30 centimeter wok. I really like that it's got this handle on the other side, just hit my elbow, ignore that. And also I bought some handle holders. Let me actually just go and get those because you may not have understood what I meant by handle holders. Ah, silicon handle grips, that's what I meant, handle grips. They just work like, like that. They go over there and stops you from burning yourself, so that's always a, a good thing, isn't it? Also got, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to put things away as I go along actually because this is all a bit much now, hang on. So next up, I've got my new saucepans, also from Le Creuset with their lids that fit on them nicely. I've got one in a size, or what size is this actually? 20 centimeters, so that's a nice big pasta kind of saucepan. And 16 centimeters, so this will be better for things like soup, or, I mean, less pasta maybe. Wow, that really does sum up the extent of my cooking to be honest. I also like that these have got that helpful handle on the other side, and you might be thinking that this is still a lot of money to be spending on just pots and pans, but I have been assured that the Cruze stuff is great and will last me a lifetime. So I kind of, rather than spending a little bit of money here and there on stuff that's not gonna last me that long, I really wanted to go all out and get some good quality stuff. But ideally, it's gonna last me forever. So they're my pots and pans. <laughs> you really know you've reached a certain age when you're getting excited about your pots and pans, but there you go, handle grip. Lovely. Just realised that I forgot to show you that I also got a lid for my wok or stir fry pan. I think they call it a stir fry pan. I can't be bothered to go searching for that now, but it basically looks like a bigger version of this and it fits on top of the stir fry pan. Right, so still on Le Creuset, still on kitchenware. Obviously, that is what they sell. Oh, this is quite exciting. This is my new double oven glove. It's maybe a little bit too bright on this camera to show you, but you can probably see it's got a nice pink trim around the edge. And then it's a good thick material here, so no burn's gonna get through that, my friend, which is great news. I've got a few more pink things to come in a bit as well. I'm very excited. Ah, I've got my own kitchen. Whew. Oh, okay, I'll do these next. So I've got a couple of these nice stoneware oven dishes. 
these are in the colour pearl. Oh, I thought they were meringue. They're in the colour pearl. There's this one which is a 26 centimetre dish and then I got a bigger one which is a 32 centimetre dish. So this would be nice for a shepherd's pie, a lasagna, a pasta bake, all of those sorts of things. And that's quite a good size for if I've got people coming round and it's not just me and Anton, but then this is a nicer size for just the two of us. Along the same lines of things that go in the oven, I've got a uh, baking tray and a roasting tray. I'm not very good at my kitchenware names, apparently. I will unwrap those for you just to give you the full experience. I've got nice um, little orange grips on the side, like rubbery grips which I thought was a nice touch. Oh, do you know what I've just remembered? I didn't mention the fact that all of my pots and pans work on an induction hob as well, because that was something that I wanted to look for, because my hob in the kitchen, well, I'm having my whole kitchen redone actually, but I'm thinking that I'm probably gonna get an induction hob, so that was something that I was looking out for with my pots and pans. That's not relevant to this, but anyway, it just popped into my head. And this is a roaster, so it's the same sort of thing with the little orange rubbery grips but it's just obviously a little bit deeper so yeah that's my stuff that goes in the oven just so you know i think this is the most i have ever spent on one shopping trip in my life before this is not a usual occurrence for me this is literally me just trying to buy things that are going to last me a lifetime and i only want to ever have to buy once I only want to ever have to buy once did that sentence make sense Oh, Bella, why are you crying? Oh, come and say hello. It's here, look, here, here's the camera. This way. Almost. Oh, I've just repackaged everything and I've ended up with a leftover bag, which means something, something's not living in its bag. Oh, yeah, here's the lid that I was saying about for the stir fry pan. Not gonna bother getting that out for you. You get the gist. And then, we got onto the very exciting stuff, which is my pink thing. Oh, I'll start with the most exciting one. Honestly, it's actually hilarious that I'm buying this sort of stuff as I am no chef whatsoever. But I'm hoping that this is gonna encourage me to be better with my cooking. So this is one, very heavy, and two, my new pink casserole dish. Is it a casserole dish? It is a cast iron dish. I'm not really sure what we'd call this, but I absolutely love it. It's a nice creamy color inside, pink on the outside. Oh, I'm obsessed. It is super heavy. I decided to go for the oval shape rather than the round shape. They have the same sort of thing, but a circular one. But I just quite liked this oval one. So sticking to my pink theme, I've then got such a cute little teapot. I mean I'm British after all, I've got to have a teapot in my house. And I just thought that was so cute and it also matches my cast iron pot thing. What do we call it? A pot? I don't know. And to go with that, my jug! So cute! I actually thought these were a really reasonable price as well. I'm not sure realistically how often I will end up using my teapot because if I'm just making a cup of tea for myself I'm just gonna put the tea bag in my mug but I think it's nice for when you have friends around to be able to have a nice pot of tea. Those planes are honestly gonna drive me insane. Has it just got brighter in here? Hmm. Anyway, next up I went to the White Company. Oh my goodness, I just love the White Company stuff so much. If I could fill my entire house with stuff from the White Company, I would. But for now, I'm mainly filling it with towels. So, oh, I just love how they feel so much. I got four bath sheets. I got two in this, it's actually sort of a minky colour, like a grey mink, and two in this very pale pink that looks very, very pale on my camera apparently. Uh, and they've all got this really nice waffly trim around the edge, hopefully you can see that. And then I also got two hand towels in that same light pink with the same waffly edge. I opted for bath sheets rather than bath towels because personally I just like having a really massive towel when I get out of the shower. I also got two hand towels in this slightly different style. They're just plain white and they've got a little, I don't really know what we'd call that edge, but it's just a little 
a little feature edge. And I also got two guest towels in the same style as the white hand towels. These I went for just a bath towel size rather than a bath sheet because my guests don't need to be as well covered as me. I'm just chatting so much rubbish in this haul. It's because I really am not very good at talking about homeware stuff because I've never had to do it before. And then in that same style, I also got six little white face cloths. And yeah, that concludes my towel purchases. Let me just put all of those away nicely because I'm making a right mess. Oh, I forgot about these actually. Also from the white company, I got two little, oh, what's that? two little toothbrush holders well they're just little plain ceramic pots really but i'm going to use them as toothbrush holders um i've got two because i've got two bathrooms in my new house well i've got one main bathroom and then an ensuite shower room so i figured one can be sort of for guests and one's in my ensuite i hope i do have some guests because i've bought lots of guest things and maybe no one's going to come and say anyway moving on i also got a couple of vases which i thought were really cute also from the white company they're handmade so they're all slightly different shapes but i got this style and i also got this style so they're my two white company vases i like that they sort of go together but they're not matching this one is actually massive though i can pretty much can't fit my head in it actually but anyway one's massive and one's medium and I thought they were quite cute where's the paper that went around this one? Oh my gosh I've lost it how on earth did I manage that oh I can use that bag that'll do right then back to kitchenware the last store that I visited the last store that I visited for house stuff while in Vista Village it was a company called Zwilling. I actually hadn't heard of this company before, but they do really good knives and cutlery and stuff like that. So the first thing I got from there, oh, I am so excited about this. It is so sad really, isn't it, that you get to an age where you're excited about knives. I got this knife block set. So this is the block that it comes with. And honestly, it's just such nice quality and the knife set that goes with it let me go through these for you oh well, first of all some kitchen scissors and honestly it sounds ridiculous but they just feel so nice to use like they just glide I, mean, I could do that for hours maybe not hours probably not even minutes to be honest I don't know what I'm on about so I think they go down there and then we've got this little let me see it I'm not doing a very good job of showing these but it's this little serrated knife and then we've got a massive kitchen knife it's not that massive actually but pretty big and then we've got i don't know the names of knives but like a medium sized one which i'm struggling to show you oh look here we go these are going to tell me what the knives are so going back through it that one that i called the big knife is actually called a chef's knife and then that one i called the medium sized knife is actually called a slicing knife and that first one that I showed you the little serrated one is called a utility knife and then this one here is called a paring knife or paring pa paring paring really wish I knew how to pronounce that because I probably sound like a right numpty and finally we've got oh it's got a bit of a nib on it bread knife nice serrated edge there and pop that in there finally the last thing in this set is this and this just keeps your knives nice and sharp although I was corrected in the shop I was like is that a sharpener and the guy was like it doesn't sharpen the knives it maintains them so that told me and that goes in there I'm not being funny am I a grown-up or am I a grown-up next up from Zwilling I got this 24 piece cutlery set oh that reflection is really not helping me show them maybe i'm just gonna have to get them out i was hoping i might get away with just showing you what they look like they're actually not very fancy at all they're very plain because i'm personally not really into it when cutlery's got like lots of detail on it i really like quite plain basic cutlery so that's what i've gone for here this is called the king set i believe and in the set you get six forks just like that six knives six big spoons and six little spoons. I'll get examples of those out for you. Just very simple, very plain. Just how I like my cutlery. On the theme of cutlery, if I can get this to open, oh my gosh. Basically, it looks like this. 
and it's a steak set. So it's got six steak knives and six steak forks in it. I didn't even know that a steak fork was a thing to be honest, but apparently it is. So the steak knives are obviously just a little bit sharper than your regular knife. And the steak forks apparently just have three prongs. So yeah, they sort of go quite well with the cutlery I got. So I thought they were quite nice. I also got this massive chopping board from Zwilling. I think it's made of bamboo. Does it say, does it tell me somewhere? Yes, I mean, there's not much I can really say about that, but it's got a good weight to it. It's a good size. You can get all your vegetables on there. <sighs> chopping board. And then my last couple of purchases from Mr. Village. Oh, ching. I got these two coffee glasses, I guess you'd call them. They're like mugs, but glass. I don't know if you can see, but they've got like this inner layer where your coffee or whatever you decide to put in there actually sits. And then there's like a little gap between the bit that you hold. So I think the idea is that you can have your hot drink in there, but the glass actually stays nice and cool. And apparently this glass, what is it called? It is high quality borosilicate glass. And I think the idea of it is that it keeps hot drinks hot and cold drinks cold for longer. And then to match those two coffee mugs, I've got these little baby espresso mugs which are basically the same but just a lot smaller and I thought they were super cute and that concludes my homeware haul from Vista Village. Oh I forgot to mention that I actually also bought two bath towels from the white company but they didn't have them in stock at the moment so I've ordered them and they're gonna send them directly to me. If I can find a photo of those on the internet, I'll try and insert that now so you can see what ones I got. They're just very plain and simple, but they had a really nice feel to them, nice good quality stuff. So yeah, if you are in the market for some homeware and you live anywhere near Vista Village, I would highly recommend a visit, especially if it's for kitchenware. Because as you can see, I basically just bought kitchen stuff and towels. <laughs> I also just wanted to reiterate that I realize I've spent a lot of money on this shopping trip. I'm also gonna insert now the amount that I saved by buying this stuff at Vista Village rather than buying all these things for the recommended retail price. So I'll calculate that at some point and I'll put it on the screen. Future Katie is really hating me right now for saying that because now I've got to actually go to the effort of adding it all up. But yeah, I did spend a lot of money, but you only move into your first home once and I really wanted to get good quality stuff rather than just spending a little bit here and there and getting stuff that isn't actually going to last me that long. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I realise it is very different to any of my normal content, but there's probably going to be a little bit more house content coming up to be honest because that is sort of taking over my life a little bit at the moment, especially as I can't really train properly yet because of my ankle. Although saying that, I do think it's going to be quite soon that I can get back to training because my ankle is feeling great. So uh, that was a little side note. But I hope you enjoyed this video guys. If you did, let me know in the comments, give it a like, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. And I'll see you next time guys. Bye.